Hello friends. Today we will learn more about for loop and how we can insert a for loop inside another for loop. We have learned that the structure of for loop. First we have to declare a variable and initialize it. Here I have declared integer type variable i and initialize it with 1. Now I have written the continuation test and here I am checking that if value of i is less than or equal to 10 then continue executing which will be inside for loop and this for loop will be finished and we will exit from for loop when value of i will be 11. Then I am updating it that I am saying that update the value of i by 1. So it will be updated after each execution value of i will be updated by 1. Now I am printing value of i on the console and each value of i will be printed on one line. Now I will save it. It has been compiled successfully. Now we will run it. And here you can see we have run it successfully and we have printed the value of i up to 10 times. We can do the same by writing two statements. Here what is happening? First value of i will be printed and it will just print a value of i. And to print a new line, we are printing simple a new line. This will print a new line on the console. Now here our task comes. Here I want to insert another for loop. And for this I have to write first for loop. Then in parentheses I will declare and initialize a variable. I am declaring an integer type variable i and assigning it value 1. Then I have written the continuation test. And I am saying if value of i is less than equal to 5 and continue this for loop. I am performing addition. Here it is outer for loop and then it is inner for loop. Here I will print value of i on the screen. But here is a problem in our for loop. What is it? That here we have declared integer type variable and name it i. Then we have declared in inner for loop variable of same name i. But what will happen? Outer for loop variable i is accessible inside inner for loop. So this is a logical error. I will replace this i with j. Now I will compile it. It has been compiled successfully. Now I will run it. And great friends, here you can see we have printed the inner for loop. I will add space in outer for loop and inner for loop to make it clear. Now when we will run it, here you can see what is happening? We are printing this 1 to 10. What is this? This is our outer for loop. We are printing this from our outer for loop. As you can see in continuation test, value of i less than equal to 10. So we have printed the outer for loop. And inside outer for loop, we have another for loop in which we have to print this up to 5. And here you can see we are printing it up to 5 times. Let's understand flowchart of this nested for loop. This is the structure of for loop. Initialize once, continuation test each time. After continuation test, execute this block of code and then perform update. Then take continuation test. If value of variable is less than continuation test, then continue this code and then update and it will continue until our test is false. This is flow of our program. Now let's understand it. First we perform the initialization. We declare the variable int and initialize it with 1. Then we perform a continuation test. Continue this for loop when value of i is less than or equal to 10. Then we insert another for loop and in that for loop we perform initialization. We declare integer type variable j and initialize it with 1 as well. Then we write the continuation test that if value of j is less than or equal to 5, continue this for loop. And then we printed a value of j on the console. Then we perform the update. And when that continuation test was false, means that when value of j was higher than 5, we exited from that for loop. Then we perform update. We added the value of i to 2. Then again continuation test value of i was less than 10 then we repeat that cycle and we continue until value of i was 11. When value of i was 11 we exited from outer for loop as well. Here you can see we executed this block of code. We printed this on console 10 times and each time we printed this for loop on the console as well. So these five values were printed once 
using the for loop then again then again and we did this as our outer for loop executed so this is the structure of a nested for loop have practice of this for loop and understand it and if you have any problem feel free to reach me thank you for your time